In this video, I will show you how to allow, limit, and control the printing of documents. So first, open Windows Explorer, locate the document you wish to protect, right-click on the PDF, and choose Make Secure PDF. In the PDF Writer, choose the Printing and Viewing tab. Here you control whether your product can be printed, and if so, how many times. The number of views can also be controlled from here, and you can enable document auditing for views and prints. In the printing area, select Allow Printing. Check this box if you want to allow the document to be printed. Users are automatically prevented from printing to Adobe Distiller and other typical Print2 file drivers. Be aware that if you do enable printing, your customer is able to print a high quality copy which they can scan and read back in using OCR technology to produce a PDF version of your document. It is therefore advisable that you also apply a watermark on printouts. See watermark settings for additional information. Next, if you want to limit the number of copies somebody can print, select the Limit Number of Copies to option and select the number you wish to allow in the drop down menu on the right. We will leave it set to 1 for now. Next, you can select the No Access After Print Copies Depleted. This feature is used when you wish to stop all access to a document once it has been printed a specific number of times. Next is the operating systems that can print. From this pull-down box, you can select whether printing is allowed based on the operating system the viewer software is installed on. Next is Enforce Color. This is applicable to Windows systems only. From this pull-down, you can select to enforce black and white or grayscale printing. This enables publishers to enforce degraded printing so that high-quality copies cannot be made. Finally, you have the option to log print requests. Select this option if you want to log every time a customer prints the document. Selecting this option will force an internet connection each time the document is printed, regardless of other settings. Users must therefore be connected to the internet in order to print the document. So that covers the Allow Printing options. However, as I said earlier, if printing is allowed on a document, it may be advisable to add a print watermark. So how do we do that? If we go to the Print Watermarks tab, we'll have a text watermark. So we click Add Text Watermark. We will use the default watermark as set in the box there, which identifies the user, the user's company as an email when it's printed. OK, and it prints across the page. Just to get a preview of what it looks like, that's how the watermark will appear across the page of the document. You can also add an image watermark such as a Moira image background to make photocopying more difficult. Adding viewing and printing watermarks are covered in greater detail in separate how-to videos. So once you're happy with these settings, all we have to do is press Publish. When the Protection Status window appears, just click OK. The newly protected file now appears in the folder underneath the original PDF. Please note that the file extension is now a .pdc. This is now a protected PDF file, can only be opened with the Lock Lizard Secure PDF Viewer. If we double click on the file, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. OK. As printing is allowed, the print icon in the top left corner is active. So if we click on Print, the print preview window open. Here you can change any print settings should you wish to do so. And in the bottom right corner is a preview of the actual file, showing the watermark we added to it displayed across the page. Once you're happy with that, just click print. You get a warning message appear that says only one copy of this document can be printed. OK, so I've been pre-warned there's only one copy. Click OK. The document is then sent to the printer. If we click on the print icon a second time, print screen appears again. If we click print a second time, 
a message appears saying you are not allowed to print any more copies because we set it to print only one copy which we have now done so it won't allow any more printing so just press ok close the viewer if we double click on that file again in the folder again the lock lizard secure viewer will attempt to open the file however this time it says you are no longer allowed to view this document because we said disallow access once the file has been printed so okay so you can't print any more copies and now you can't even view the document again so once you're happy with that just click OK and close the viewer and close Windows Explorer as you have just seen there are several controls that can be applied to prevent unauthorized printing and copying of your documents